derived from the root vid. Like yoga is derived from the root yuj. Yuj means unite, and so yoga is a sign of union. Like that. Okay, and if you sit there, this is like wrong. This is wrong. Yeah, okay. Just a stem from the root vid. Vid means knowledge. It's the same vid behind vidya. Okay, we gave the name Yoga Vidya to the magazine. That simply means knowledge. So Vedas is from the word, root word for vid, which means knowledge. Okay, and uh, so whenever we have a knowledge, then somebody, so when you walk there, just be careful. Okay? That, that is very really sensitive. Okay? So whenever we talk about knowledge, there has to be somebody who is giving the knowledge. There has to be a source of the knowledge. From them only we can learn it. But where does the quality given to where does is about Shia, meaning no human being has postulated this philosophy of Vedas. So the spelling was there in the slide, it will come soon. So if you want, we can write it down. So Purusha also refers to the absolute consciousness, but in a normal sense, Purusha also refers to human. So Apausheya, meaning no human being has done this. Meaning it's not a postulated theory. Sometimes we can use our logic and intelligence to come up with the philosophy, which is fine. And there are many philosophies in India also like that. But this particular Vedas is about Shreya. It is not postulated by a human intellect. It is instead Ishwara Prokta, meaning it is divinely ordained. It is a revealed science. And whom, to whom it was revealed? It was revealed to some very great saints who purified their minds to such an extent they could merge their mind with the universal mind and the wisdom, the cosmic spirituality, reveal the principles to them. And then they, in their turn, came to be known as Rishis. So Rishi, who is Rishi? Rishadi, Jnanadi, meaning one who receives Jnana. One who receives is a Rishi. That way there is a rhyme to Jagan, you can remember. Receives Rishi. Yeah. Receive Rishi. Receive Rishi. One who receives. Yeah, so that is a Rishi. And how do they receive it? It's through Shruti. Shruti means verbal. It's said that they heard the sound. But in the beginning they heard the sound Om. Om started to roar in their awareness. And from Om the Veda started to crystallize. That's what is meant. So Shruti meaning heard, verbal, you know, it's like, not like somebody telling you, but they heard it through their divine attunement. Okay, so that is Shruti. So Indian philosophy have two types. One is Shruti, another is Smriti. If you want, you can write it up. Smriti, all of you know already. So one is Shruti, which means it's a revealed science. You hear it. Smriti is from your memory. Okay, so Vedas come under Shruti. Whereas uh, other things, even including Bhagavad Gita, is a Smriti. Sage Vyasa ordered it. Many other philosophies, there is an author who wrote it. Whereas Vedas, there is no single order. It's just said Rishis, a group of saints, received it. And that came to be known as Vedas. And Vedas is also called Veda Shastra. Shastra, do you know the meaning of Shastra? It is called Shasana Trayade Idi Shastra. I don't know whether I gave it to you in writing. Shasana, do you know? Shasana. Huh? Okay. Can you just chant Padanjali Sutra first line? Atta Yogan Shasana. Now, have you heard the, heard the word Shasana anywhere? Anu Shasana. Okay. So, Shasana, Shas means to command, Shas means to discipline. So, Shastra meaning. Shasana Trayade. Trayade meaning to be saved. So by which discipline? By disciplining or by getting disciplined. If you get saved, that particular discipline is called Shastra. Okay, so Shas refers to Shasana, meaning disciplining, commanding. By virtue of it, if you get saved, tra, Trayade, if you get saved, meaning Trayade, then that is called Shastra. Okay? And Shastra, this Veda Shastra, contains so many mantras. Do you know what is mantra? 
Manana prayade idi mantra. I have to throw some of these lines here, but you, you, it will get a bit easier as you contemplate them. Manana prayade idi mantra. Mananam, I think you ignore know. Mananam is contemplation. Prayade meaning say. By contemplation of which, if you get saved, that is a mantra. Okay? Contemplation of something saves you, then it is mantra. So, Vedas are called Veda Shastras, which contains Vedic mantras. So, maybe those who are interested in technicalities, in a strict sense, only the Vedic uh, verses are called mantras. Whereas other the other scriptures is called shrotras. Okay, not so important, but just for your knowledge. Mantra in a strict sense goes to Vedas. Other is called Shrotras. Okay? And uh, Vedas is called is likened to a mother. Okay, so earlier we were saying by discipline of it it will save you, by contemplation of it, it will save you. Save from what? Is supposed to save you from sorrow. It's supposed to save you from suffering. It's supposed to save you from ignorance. It's supposed to save you from all the mental afflictions which we suffer. So that is the saving which is meant here. When he says, Trayade, Shasana, Trayade, Iti Shastra, Manana, Trayade, Iti Mantra, meaning it's about saving us from the darkness of ignorance. Okay, so it saves us from unnecessary suffering in the mind. Suffering is done only by the ego. That we have to know. We only say eyes of a bad It's the eye is there. So slowly, slowly, it beats out this eye and then we can deal with whatever in a better composed way. The suffering is taken away. And in that sense, it is likened to a mother. A mother saves the child. Mother gives life to a child and also mother nurtures the child. And sometimes mother gives all the knowledge. Mother has to prepare the child for knowledge. And in a naughty way, some people say a mother first gives the knowledge as to only the mother can really tell who the father is. Yeah. So in that way, mother also uh, gives a lot of knowledge. Yeah? So that is just a brief introduction to Vedas.